Happy Saturday, Connect Fam. Bringing you the heat with today's hottest women in business and female entrepreneurs. I'm your girl, Stitches, with our fabulous co-host, Miss Sandy Glant. Rola Diab is off today, but hey, Sandy. Tap, tap, tap. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so good to be back with you. Happy Women's History Month. Speaking of women's history, our first guest is doing just that. This young lady has worked with artists like Usher, Keisha Cole, Chris Brown, Tierra Marie, and she's also written with hit-making producers like Jim Johnson, DJ Khaled, and Harvey Mason Jr. Songwriter, the number one two spots on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 R&B hip-hop song chart. So honey, she's chart-making, she has receipts, she has credits, and we are super excited to have her here with us. Please welcome to the Connect fam, Miss, can I say it like this, London Knighton to the show. Hey, Miss Hey, London. hey, hey, ladies. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> tap in. The bridge is in the building. This is so exciting. And you have worked with so many big names in the industry. And it all started with a deal you signed with L.A. Reid Music Publishing. So let's start right here. How do you get signed by someone like L.A. Reid for publishing? Well, let me just tell you, first of all, all glory to God, because I, I try to make plans and they just fall short every time. So <laughs> it's him. But no, honestly, every Everything is a lot of word of mouth in the entertainment industry. So through networking and like, you know, hitting the town, hitting the social circuits and getting into a studio. Actually, my mother had a boyfriend who knew a man who knew a man who had a studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wound up in his studio, end up networking and meeting people. And then doors start opening just from networking and grinding. I oh, love this. Well, let's talk movies because now you also have some actors acting roles under your belt and are currently yes. being considered to play Mary J. Blige in her new upcoming biography. This is incredible. Yes. So tell us about uh, that project if you can. Okay. Well, I can't dive too much into the project, but I will say I auditioned in person for the great Robbie Reed, who, be who then began to call me Mary, you know, in conversation. <laughs> so it's still in the beginning stages, but I'm really like, that would really be my dream role. I just love Mary J. Blige, everything about Ooh. her, how she's just like a, a beautiful piece of art. Everything has been working in divine order. There I was in my first Hallmark film as Chef Tracy on Hallmark. Oh, yes, a directed by Lee Furtlander. And then now I'm in the upcoming Murder Mystery 2. Man, yes. London, I'm cheering for you, sis. Like, I Oh, queen. Oh, all we got it's Women's History Month. I'm cheering for you, ladies, as well. Okay, touch and agree. Girl. Yes, yes, yes ladies. <laughs> hey, we got to talk more business. They got to know more about you. So let's yeah. talk business, the business yeah. side of the industry. We know how have you been able to honestly protect yourself when negotiating mm -hmm. movies or for film opportunities? Mm -mm -mm. I've had a lot of preparation coming from even just songwriting, like with contracts, et cetera. So I've been in the game for some time now. So, you know, I always would advise to consult an attorney, like never move from a place of thirst, always come from a place of power. And if, especially as women, we have to um, sometimes meditate to get into that space of no I'm going to stand in my power and everything's going to be fair for me because I'm showing up and I'm an asset, you know, right. and I believe that I'm an asset to anything. So as stuff comes to me, I just have to put forth the best effort possible as you are working with people and bonding and building teams. You have to know, like they're vetting you, you're also vetting them. And hopefully you'll meet some people that can empower you like you will empower them. And teamwork makes the dreams work. That's right. That's right. Well, talking about tips and learning and, and paving the way, what are some tips that you have for young artists just now getting into the industry? Just be yourself. Find a great team that is um, well vetted and well seasoned that will steer you in a right direction. Of course, you're not going to agree with everything anyone says and they're not going to agree with everything you say. But try to find a team with a happy medium. Like I said, don't only just be don't never move from a place of thirst. 
but a place of comfort and try however you need to find that place of peace. Mm. Where you're not moving, running and chasing, but you're in a position to receive and to give. So That's good. Awesome. So how can people work with you and reach you? They're going to be watching this and say, yes. wait a second, how do I get yes. into contact with please, her? Please <laughs> reach out to me. You can find me on all social media at London Knighton, L-U-N-D-O-N. K N I G H T E N, <laughs> and definitely at www.londonnighton.com. And check me out. I have short films on all of my socials. I have music. I have a lot going on. So I want everybody to stay on this journey. Thank you so much, London. And coming up next, Justine Carino shares tips that busy working moms can use to manage stress and anxiety. I love it. But first, as we kick off Women's History Month, here's a look at five Women's History Month activities you can do this weekend. Check it out. 